against all this. My goodness. Yeah. Okay. So we have passion. Love yourself first. Let your friends help you. Oh my God. Let go of control issues. This could be the one I don't like. All right. So the passion's got the best of your person and there was, there was some selfish, selfish energy with them. For some of you, it could have been uh, with a friend or someone familiar. Um, but I also feel I take this as angels guiding us. So here we have let go of control issues. I feel obviously we're, there's one thing we show when these situations happen. It's one thing that we show on the outside, but it's another thing that we feel on the inside. And so the control issues here could be that one of, one of you, um, is still holding on to the blame of the situation. You know, we're, I'm not saying that it's right for this person to do what they did, but again, it's playing the victim. Let's be real here. And I think for me, what spirit wants to show you is it's time to look at yourself and shift that energy because you need to go take care of you versus focusing on what the other person did. Now, again, you guys put where the shoe fits. Saj, I really doubt, you know, and it's, it's really, it's funny because these reads, when it, it comes to these situations, I look at, I'm just going to give them for what they are. You know, you guys know who's who. And I, you know, obviously these are triggering reads for, for anyone involved, but let's get into it. Yeah, sacral energy came out. This had to do so definitely sexual energy here. So I, I mean, to me, that's an indication that someone was not getting any obstacles and challenges. Maybe this connection had way too many problems, memories of love. Yeah, this is a past energy. This connection was going through too much that it probably affected your sac sex life, sacral chakra. You know, they got the best of them and they went and did what they did. Base chakra, the root, there's no... There's no grounding in the connection. When the root is done in a relationship, this happens. And it's not saying it's right. It's saying that it's happened. And now what's next? So how do we restabilize this? One within ourselves and within how we deal with our person. There was probably, there's a lot at stake here for some of you. You know, you have families, you're married to them, you have children. Um, so this is what I'm saying. This is a very emotional read. It's not the easiest ones for, for, for a reader energetically. Yeah, Ten of Wands. So much emotional confusion. Seven of Cups. Um, there's a lot of pain here. And, and it's on both ends. Um... There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of misunderstanding. There's a lot of ego. There's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of that. So it's very here on the seven of cups. Yeah. Temperance. You know, wanting to figure things. There's there's a need to temper things. There's a need to be one patient. Let all of the emotions come to surface first. Let the fire down, down die down. Yeah, emotional. Look, ace. A, um, page of cups with three three of cups you know this third party situation it really interrupted the the way you both are communicating right now no one's gonna really say anything nice yeah page of swords it's very um cutthroat it's the emotions are high right now in this relationship and it's gonna need some time to cool down or just be done with and that's really what loving yourself is going to be about so either you engage in the arguments or you call it quits for yourself and then find that peace um there you go sag so king of wands and i feel like this this spirit is just saying this is for you this is either you call it quit, quit quits you embody your element and you you rise you rise you know so give me more of this memories of love 
definitely a lot of it is a marriage so hermit energy there's a lot to think about here hermit energy this is the time to take a step back and yes the, the goal let go of control issues is to again memory like sit and think first um resolve internally hermit energy resolve internally first judgment you know this was this was destined to happen in this way because it probably was already falling apart and we have to see the, the areas that led up to this point um give me more of the sacral chakra judgment again it's back yeah it's i telling you like it's almost like even this person getting tested in their passions page of wands acting out of their passions in a very um uh impulsive impulsive w way without thinking about the repercussions it's what led to getting you guys to this point and at this point this is where the resolution happens where you both now have to kind of really yeah family ten of cups i mean you guys have kids there's there's a lot of emotions here give me more of this judgment um but definitely a long-term relationship if you don't have children with your person but yeah judgment a lot of emotions in the world bringing things to full circle and allowing you to decide whether you want this cycle to end or do you want to continue so there's a lot of clarity ace of swords yeah there goes that leo energy you're gonna have to build yourself up resilience here um again that ego let go of control the control you have to kind of when you fall into the strength there's more confidence in you but it's required clarity which is this hermit to kind of take a step back first um and not let the shadow aspect of the leo energy get the best of you right um, give me more of this base chakra. I mean, this is the root of everything. So this is to realign whatever has been damaged in this root. Yeah, the tower. I mean, talk about page of swords. You know, this is um, the page of swords energy of knowledge, information. So this, not, this tower led to needing to get understanding and face reality of what's been affected from the root the foundation of this connection um five of swords right it's been five of swords it's like this this is not five of swords when it's like you have to kind of drop the swords and like i can't anymore it's you got to take your losses that means you've been fighting this for some time and you have to again temperance is showing again there is a need to let things kind of pan out and take a step back, Sagittarius, and that is your energy, temperance. So not the easiest. Um, this relationship obviously is undergoing some changes and there's a lot that needs to be um, first dealt with for yourself and getting your emotions, you know, dealt with. Yeah, unresolved trauma preventing you from moving forward. So, um this is as long as this is unresolved both of you will not be able to move forward um this card here with this could be the one obviously this was someone you've been with for a long time so this was your person right so let's see what are the blockages for this energy spirit codependent addiction is holding you back so there is codependency here i feel um It doesn't have to necessarily be addictions for some of you. It, it's addictions. Um, for others of you, it's just bad habits, ways of doing things, um, old behaviors, and sometimes long-term relationships. People get so used to being a certain way that it's there's no evolution of either parties. Let's see what this untold message of the heart is. What is the untold message of the heart of this person for Sagittarius? Nervous, you make me lose my cool and I just I just don't know how to act in your presence. So this is nervous energy, obviously, obviously broken. The damage has already been done and I don't know how to pick the pieces up. Yeah, 
they're aware. Like I said, there's a regret. There's awareness of 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 this happening, and uh, they know what they broke, the damage that's been done. Um, lessons. Yeah, I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. There are lessons here for both, and. Uh, You know, it's it's just sad to see, right? All right, so what is the guidance for Sag? Beautiful truth. The time has come to be honest and to face the truth within yourself. What is it that you really want? Speak your truth and be your own authentic self. Step into your light. This is what I'm saying. Like, I feel this situation, it's been with that five of swords and it's been happening for some time. Like... It's almost like take your losses right now and use this time to bring the attention back to yourself, Sag, and really speak some truths about what's been going on within your heart, your mind, about this whole relationship. And so choices, the crossroad you are on is urging you to make a choice. So don't doubt yourself and choose with love and from your heart they, that then you can never go wrong. You know, huge, huge um, time to really make decisions for, for your own soul. Give me one more guidance for Sag, please, please. Thank you. this is why I know this energy was going to be different so the things that shatter you and break your heart can open your eyes and again back to the truth like you know loving yourself like this attention needing to to come back to you to open your eyes and I really do feel that an autumn a period of harvest and abundance so basically this is to bring to bring you back abundance so it's a period of right now we're in the winter but this leaves me to believe that you have to allow the seasons to happen in this and there will be a period of harvest and abundance but there's a lot that you that needs to be resolved within from this relationship um and truths you know speak your truth and be your own authentic self so it's allowing you to embody something and then you will harvest a different kind of abundance in life it's just what you're going to harvest from here on so i really do feel this is about bringing this attention back to yourself and and if you guys will work this out and somehow find resolution but at that point you're going to be at a different mind space and verbally be able to communicate that differently with your person so um, Saj, I'm going to leave it there. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.